Hello Kudos, how are you? Welcome to the 15th part of the video. So in the previous part of the video we have or we have made these two buttons start and quit interactive. We have left with only one button instruction. So in this particular video we will discuss how to make these button inter this button the instruction button interactive. Like when we click on the instruction this page will come where the instructions are there and then we click on this back button again we will in the main page or the home page. So let's start coding. So before starting the videos, like before starting it, let's just add the event handling for the instruction button which we haven't added in the previous video. Like if you remember we have added the logic or the event handling for the start button and as also for the quit button. But we haven't added for the instruction button. So let's just add it here. But if we click equal to equal to 100, let's just say we will call the instruction method or the instruction page. So for that we have to define this instruction method okay so let's define the instruction method okay let's say instruction sorry instruction instruction equal to true while instruction mm -hmm. if the loop game loop is on or the instruction loop is on then we have to capture the event for event n sorry by game dot event dot get okay so if event dot type equal to equal to by game dot quit uh, then we have to close that by game dot quit we have already discussed this basic things in the earlier part of the video. If you are getting any confusion here, I will suggest you to refer to the earlier part of the videos where I have discussed in detail. Okay, let's save it. So this will be a very basic layout of the instruction function or the instruction button. But now we have to add the instruction background image like we have seen. So firstly we have to add this image on this game. So I've already created a variable which will contain this image. Okay, you can see here instruction background by game dot image dot load the background to dot jpg. Okay, which just come out here in the introduction instruction. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we've already added this. Now we have to just load this image screen dot blit. This also I have discussed. That's instruction background comma zero comma zero. Okay. Let's just save it and see if it is coming or not. When we click on the instruction page, okay, nothing is coming out. I think we have missed to update the screen. Yes. If you remember when we call the you know function and which is continue looping, we have to update the screen continuously. So for that, you know what we do what to do. My game dot display dot update and clock dot tick thirty. Okay, save it and now we'll run it. Let's see. Click on the instruction page. Yeah, perfect. So now we are redirecting or rendering to the instruction page. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's all about adding some some text. Okay. So let's just define different variables for different font sizes. Okay. You can do according to your own. I have did from according to my limited knowledge. So let's just say large text will have uh, i game dot font dot font okay uh -huh. and then we know what to fill this free sans code dot ttf let's give the size 80 as it's a large uh, large text same for the medium size text let's say and for the small text let's just change the name like medium text and this will be small text 
let's narrow down the sizes from 40 and then 27 okay and if you remember like we have already we have already created the text object method where we pass two arguments the text and the font so let's just use that here okay so text surface comma text rectangle equal to text objects the text the actual text of the message let's say 90s key car key to dodge the okay in the 90s car game that's it 90s car game and the text will be here small text okay mm -hmm. and then we have to keep the position for this text okay i will recommend to pause this video and write the next line on your own okay so let's just keep the position let's try like next text rect dot center equal to position will be let's say 350 comma 200 mm -hmm. and we have loaded the send, uh, text but now we have to you know add this text on the game window so we know the blit method is there so with the use of blit method we need to add this to the screen so let's say screen dot blit the text surface comma text rect okay save it and i hope you will see some text there click on the section page perfect 90s car game you can change into the medium size or the you know uh, the large size it depends on you but you understood what, what we are doing that's it okay so now we can see the text and in the same way we can add other text as well so i will recommend again to pause the video think about it what exactly text you want to write you know like suppose uh, we want to write uh, like arrow left left turn arrow right right turn then pause the video like something like that okay uh, like i will do for the one suppose text surface 2 and text surface i will call instruction okay this will be a large text because i want a instruction to be in a bold and a very large text manner okay so same way we have to define the coordinates text rec 2 dot make sure to define in a different variable okay so text rec 2 dot center let's say the position will be 400 okay and uh, 100 i must say let's try that this, this, is, this is all a random numbers a random position you can try it on your own play with it and just add this a text using breadth method text surf2 comma text right 2 okay that's all going easy save it run the code and let you see perfect perfect now from here i will just copy the code because i don't want to waste other uh, waste time on writing the whole code I hope you understand the basic of it and the logic so you can write it out your own okay so let's just do this is for the next line arrow left left turn. let's just save it and run it let's see oh sorry okay let's just run the code okay so this is the next instruction we have added let's see yeah arrow left left run turn. okay now this is for the arrow right right turn save it and run it let's see we will see one we'll check one line by line okay whether the input is getting yeah arrow left left turn arrow right right turn one more instruction for the accelerator let's just save it and run again let's see okay yeah one more line added so a similar way you can add more and more instruction on this page okay so like that i've added all the instructions okay let's just save it and see what exactly it will look like so yes pause arrow left right accelerator break okay 
and one more line added controls which is will be on the top let's just see it will be the final you know layout of the instruction page this side left controls okay now we will add a back button somewhere here like when we click on this back button this will go redirect to the home page okay let's just start making that so we already know what is the command for creating a rectangle or a button so we'll say pygame dot draw dot rect on the screen then the color which i already find and then the position see this position it can be according to your own i'm just giving some random number and if it fits then it's perfect to go 580 300 150 wide and 50 is the height then just save it and see if the blue rectangle or the button is appearing on the correct position or not click on this perfect okay now we have to add our text here and then make it a little attractive just like the earlier buttons that's it we also know how to write text on the buttons okay which is say small text Size will be 30. Okay. Text surface text rect equal to text object. The function we already defined. Pass the text that will be back and then small text the font. Okay, save it and then we have to give the position. We already defined the button but we have to also define the position for the text we should not overlap on the button so that will be text title center equal to the position will be starting position will be 580 so 580 plus app. and also we know that we want the text appear to be appeared on the center of the button so 580 plus the width of the rectangle is 150 by 2 okay that will be x position and then y position will be 300 as the x y coordinate is starting from 300 then plus width of the height of the button is 50 slash 2 okay and i think yes 3 one more button bracket that's it and then we have to use the blit method to make it appear very simple i hope you are understanding each and everything if not feel free to comment it okay just save it and run it let's see i hope it will come on the proper area click on instruction and there you go perfect perfect so after making this now we'll make the back button this button interactive in the same way we did for the other three buttons okay now it will be easy for you because you already know you know how to capture the mouse positions and all those things so we know let's say mouse will be the by game dot mouse dot get position okay so we already defined the coordinates therefore we have to apply the condition only condition here if mouse x coordinate 0 is greater than 580 now why 580 because it is starting the button that x coordinate starting with the 580 okay so 580 and mouse 0 is lesser than 750 because okay, it's a 150 meter wide we can also give exact uh, 730 yeah that would be a little bit more accurate and then the y coordinate mouse 1 should be greater than 300 and mouse sorry mouse 1 should be lesser than 350 okay if it is then by game dot draw dot direct screen and the light blue which I've already defined and the position will always be the same 580 300 150 comma 50 okay that's it and else if not if not then by game dot 
from dot rect screen blue again same 580 comma 300 comma 150 comma 50 okay i hope this will work let's save it and run the code construction okay yes you can see whenever we are holding all the mouse on this then we can see okay but the text is not appearing here okay the text is not appearing here the back text okay let me see what is the problem ah okay okay we are uh, so this condition of this screen light or you know light blue coloring or the hovering thing is overlapping with the text thing which we already created or defined earlier yeah, here only so we have to move this bit of code here after this condition otherwise it will overlap or uh, override okay now just save it and i hope this time you will see the text also and that thing also let's see click on the instruction and yes perfect now the final thing is to make this add uh, like we have to add the event handling so we click on the back button we'll go to the home page so let's just quickly you know do that now we you will be yeah, I hope you are getting this you know familiarity with all these things it's very easy in Python okay capture the mouse click state like click equal to game dot mouse dot get oh, sorry get rest uh -huh. and if click equal to equal to one zero zero if it is then intro loop save it that's it that's it let's see click construction okay somewhere we are on Okay, nothing is wrong. I think I was not clicking it properly, I guess. So, again, I will check it. So, instruction we are going and click on back. Yes, we are going back. That's it. That's it. Ah, finally, so it's, it's a long video. Sorry for that. But I needed to, you know, make this a long video. So, hope are you, I hope you, are, you have understood all the things which we have discussed in the video. If not, please feel free to comment on the video. Okay. I'll make sure to you know sort out all the doubts or all the problems which you'll face okay i i understand that it's this, this was a very long video but i hope you understood the concept very clear let me know in the comment section so thank you so till then keep learning keep coding bye